Indeed, we come as guests invited. And as we come, we learn that this table is for all of us, near and far, high and low, east and west, north and south. This table is for all of us, but it is not our table. It is not merely a Presbyterian table. Friends, this is God's table for all of us, and it is a table of grace. So come and take your place at this table. You are welcome. You are invited. You are called. Come, let us share this meal together. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise, O Lord our God, Creator and Ruler of the universe. Even when we were dust, when our story begins in dust, you were there, your word was there, your breath into lifeless void. And upon your word all creation sprang into life. When we were in the wilderness, terrified and timid, you were there, your word was there. With manna just enough for the day, with water even from the driest rock, with abundant grace upon which our story always rests. And when we fell short, slaves to power and greed, you were there. Your word was there on the lips of prophets and in the hearts of servants. In stories of revolution and revelation and liberation, calling us even now to acts of courage and witness and peace. And therefore, we praise you. Joining our voices with choirs of angels, with prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all the faithful of every time and every place, for whoever sing to the glory of your name, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Indeed, blessed are you, O Christ our Lord, for risking yourself among us, vulnerable and rejected, for teaching among us, teaching the radical hope of God, teaching the grace of God to a world bent on vengeance, teaching the love of God to a world bent on destruction, teaching the peace of God to a world bent on tearing itself apart. You were there, your word was there, even to the point of death itself. Even faced with terror and hatred and the brokenness of the world, you rose again to new life, to new creation, to resurrection. That we might know something other than the dust, that we might expect something other than the end, that we might work for something other than ourselves and so you speak to us again with these gifts of abundance this bread and this wine with which we joyfully celebrate your dying and rising as we await the table of the kingdom yet to come and as we dedicate ourselves again to you thankful and transformed as living in holy sacrifices that our lives may proclaim the one crucified, and the one risen. For great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Gracious God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these your gifts of bread and wine, that the bread we break together and the cup we share together may retell our common stories together and reshape our common bonds together and remember our common grace together in the communion of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, the one in whose life and death you have torn down divisions. And so may we be with all who share this feast on this day of all days, with all your children at every corner of your table. 
may we share this abundant cup with all those who thirst for your justice. May we share this abundant bread with those who hunger for your righteousness. And may we be united with every corner of your story, united in hope, united in vision, united in purpose, united in ministry in every place. As this bread is Christ's body for us, send us from this table to be the body of Christ in all the world. Send us with a spirit of courage, a spirit of power and might that we may be witnesses in all creation to the unending story of Your Word breathing life into dust. Keep us faithful and fruitful and hopeful and peaceful until we come at last to the one table of Your kingdom to feast with all Your saints in the joy of Your eternal realm with You and with Your Word through Christ and in Christ the one who came for us, died for us, and rose for us, the one who prays even for us, and the one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, it was on the night of His arrest that Jesus shared a meal with His closest friends, the disciples. And during the course of the meal, He took the bread and blessed it and said, This is My body broken for you. Take and eat in remembrance of Me. When that meal had drawn to its conclusion, He took the cup also, and He blessed it as He poured it, saying, This is My blood shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Take and drink, all of you, in remembrance of Me. And as often as we eat of this bread and drink of this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until He comes again. Friends, as The uh, song, Let Us Break Bread Together, plays quietly. Please meditate and yourself share in these elements the body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Take and eat. Take and drink.